it's Mary, and I'm here at the sewing room in Tucson, Arizona to speak with you about the Bernina Stitch Regulator. The Bernina Stitch Regulator was introduced to the Bernina line in 2004 and has opened the door to free motion quilting to make it easy for everyone to do this technique. What makes it so easy? It's the sensor on the bottom of the foot. It senses how fast the fabric is moving and the machine speed adjusts automatically to keep your stitches nice and even. No more having to think about what you're doing, just go ahead and start quilting. The foot comes with three different soles. I have the closed toe sole on here for most of your regular quilting, stippling, and free motion work. The open toe sole is great for when you are stitching over fabric that may be built up or if you've got layers of stitches. The curved toes in the front easily glide over those raised areas. And then we have the clear sole. The crosshair markings and the circular markings make it easy to do free motion stitch in the ditch or echo quilting. Because of the large surface area on it, when I'm working with thicker battings, it helps to push those battings down for easy seeing of my stitches. The foot is easy to attach. You just press on the prongs on the sides, slide one off, and then snap the other one on. Let me show you how easy it is to attach the Bernina Stitch Regulator to your machine. We first of all slide it up the cone and bring down the latch just like a regular foot. Then take the plug and attach it into the hole in the back of the machine. And in this way, the Bernina Stitch Regulator is talking to your machine. Now that we have attached the Bernina Stitch Regulator to the machine, the screen has changed and we have dropped our feed dogs. There are two modes that you can use when free motion stitching. I have mode one selected. When we are in mode one, once we start stitching, the needle goes up and down continuously, whether or not you're moving the fabric. Let me show you how that works. So whether I stop or go, the fabric or the needle is still moving. Now where this is really nice is if you are doing an angular quilting design. Stop in the corners, let the machine take a couple of extra stitches, and then continue on. And that will give you nice sharp corners. Mode two, now when we are in this mode, the needle only moves when we are moving the fabric. So if you are pausing, the needle will not continue to stitch in place. Let me show you how that works. Now I pause and it stops. Pause and it stops. This way you do not get a buildup of stitches where you might not want them. You have a choice of using a straight stitch or a zigzag stitch when you are free motion stitching. Of course, normally people are using the straight stitch for their quilting, but if you thought about using the zigzag for thread painting, or perhaps trying free motion applique, this is a fun, fun technique and I think you should give it a try. Which mode and which stitch is the best for you? Well, that's all up to you. You're the boss. Vernina gives you total stitch control. You can even shorten your stitch length so that when you're doing tiny micro stippling, your curves will remain nice and smooth. When I'm doing the tiny micro stippling, I like to take the stitch length down to about 1 or 1.5. When I'm doing my regular stippling, I might go up to 2 or even 3. It's just whatever happens to suit the project at the time. The Bernina Stitch Regulator is an included accessory with many of our sewing machines. This includes the Bernina 570, the Bernina B590, the B770, B790 Plus, and the B880 Plus. It is an optional accessory for the B535, B475, and the B480. If you're not sure if your machine can accept a Bernina Stitch Regulator, be sure to give us a call and we will be able to help you with that. I hope you've enjoyed learning a little bit about the Bernina Stitch Regulator, an exclusive accessory only found on the Bernina sewing machine. Now I'd like to show you the Jumbo Bernina Stitch Regulator. This is the Bernina Q20. It has two stitch regulators built into the bed of the machine. And look at all of this room. 
This table opens up to six feet wide, and you have 20 inches of space behind you. So think of all the wonderful free motion quilting you can do here without having to add the Bernina stitch regulator foot. So we can do free motion quilting. We can put on our free motion couching foot and put some yarn or cording in and add some texture to our quilt. We can do ruler work, or we could combine ruler work and couching to our project. Now before I go, I wanted to mention that free motion stitching isn't just for quilters. Whether you like to make bags, home deck, quilts, or even garments, there is a place for free motion stitching in your project. So if you're interested in learning more about the Bernina Stitch Regulator or about the Bernina Q20 Sit Down Quilting Machine, please be sure to contact the Sewing Room in Tucson, Arizona.